How are we doing everybody? Uh, Arts Gaming back with another quick tutorial on how to install, download, install and set up the Claire randomizer for RE2 Source Next. So, first of all we need the randomizer. Well first of all you need a Source Next copy of RE2. I have a tutorial on where to find and how to install that with all the necessary patches. So. Uh, I'll link it in the in the description um, in case you don't know it, but that's my most watched video So that's dead. That's dead easy to find but I'll link it anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to type in resident evil to clear uh, Randomizer I will link this but I'm just going to show you it anyway, so and it's mod DB clear a randomizer mod Take you to mod db and there it is. And what you'll want is to scroll down. Uh, that's the old one, don't bother with that. And you want to click on v12b. And there's the button to download it. Click on that. I've already done it, but I'll download it again. Just give it a couple of minutes. Brushing instantly. Shut up. There it is, it starts to download, so we'll close that. Maybe dangerous, yeah, only because it's unofficial. So we'll keep that. There you have it. Now we're just going to minimize that. And now we want to go to your downloads file explorer. Downloads, there it is, I've already done it twice. That's the old one I downloaded, don't worry about that. That's all download, RE2, RND. That's just the second download you've just seen me do. So I double click on that. Here it is. I'm going to extract all of that to just desktop. Just copy everything I do if you're not too up on PC etiquette. Click OK. It will copy all that across. We can get that. And here they are. So these are the four files that you'll end up with. That's just credits, notes, and how to install. You can read that if you wish, but it's dead easy. All you have to do is um, get rid of those. Just copy these two. RDT backup. That's the file to restore the original lineups of enemies and items. Just like with the Leon randomizer that I've shown you before on another tutorial. Um, but it all all the all the changes of the randomizer get put into this RDT file and that's the backup for the original layout if you want to replace it if you're done playing randomizer so I like both these select copy I won't do it because I've already got them in and go to your directory which is always if you use the default path it's always C colon backslash C drive program files x86 on biohazard 2 and here we are so i've got the rando for the d chaps one for leon right there and here is what we've put in so that's the idt backup this one there i've just changed the name idt backup claire because that's claire's backup and the backup for leon is that one on the leon one but that's all irrelevant that's just so that's the file idt backup and randomizer so that's one, two, that's these two here. Once they're into your directory, right click, paste them in. And then to set up the randomizer, dead easy, pretty much the same as you do for the Leon one, right click. Again, key point, run as administrator. Always as administrator or it likely won't work. And then you get this window here, dead easy. Select an option, then press enter. One, make a new seed to restore game files. So you don't even need the RDT folder, I don't think. Although you might do to restore it. So just do everything as I do. So all we need is number one, enter. Now wait, and it will go through all that. So just sit tight while it's just the enemies, then the items. Done. See, so done at the bottom. Now we can get rid of that. And you'll notice it'll create a C log. Uh, 
that's the old seed log that's the new one it's just created for the new seed and every new uh, seed you create it'll create a seed log so you might want to when you're done with one seed just get rid of the old log if you randomize another one just so you don't get confused but that just tells you if you get stuck where everything is like you've probably seen on the other rando if you've got that and that's pretty much it so that's randomized so all you need to do is just run your resi evil i would recommend um doing it with the debug menu active to do that on this configuration screen press f1 Mine was already on, so it's just disabled it. So with it off, like yours would be, press F1. There you go, debug enabled. Now just press F5 in game to bring it up. That's in case you get uh, soft locks for the missing items, because it is quite new. Uh, I dare say there'll be improved versions over time, what normally happens when the uh, creator gets around to it. Uh, so, okay, with that debug active start the game and simply select uh, original clear and it's always normal uh, apparently you shouldn't select hard or easy just always select normal and just like with our leon version we've got one with clear so we've got brads da -da. <laughs> Sherry behind the counter. What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human. So just like with the Leon randomizer, of which I have a tutorial to set up. Sorry about that, babe. You've got a randomizer for Claire. It's a bit different in the way that at the end you don't do the B scenario train bit. You just do the pure A scenario stuff. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Now I'll just grab a couple of items just to show you that they're randomized. Oops, spark shot, how good's that? Finding a spark shot in the in Kendo's gun shot. Detonator. And of course it changes the NPCs like the other rando does. MG bullets. And we'll just see what enemies we've got out here. Crows. And this item is blue herbs. So, so there you are. Let's just have to set that up. So dead easy, dead straightforward. So you download the files, copy the RDT and the randomizer tool into your source next RE2 folder, run the tool as admin, press 1, press enter, and then it'll randomize the seed if you wait a couple of seconds. When it says done, close it down, start your RE, clear, normal, boom, away you go. That's, that is it. That is it, as simple as that. So. That's how you do that, how you install the RE2 Rando. Um, at the time of making this, I have forgotten the modder's name that made it, but I will credit him with that in this video when I upload it. So that's how to install the Claire Randomizer for RE2 Source Next. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoy it. You can do Leon and Claire now. And I'll catch you soon, guys. Take it easy.